Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a Star Trek Klingon knife. Um, obviously everything in this model is going to be fixed. There won't be any moving parts. Uh, but to go ahead, we're going to start Design Spark Mechanical. We're going to go ahead and go to File, we'll go New, New Design. Come down here to design, then we're going to click this eye icon to change the plan view. We're going to minimize, we're going to drag in our reference file. Okay, it looks like it's an unknown file type, so I'm going to have to go ahead and open up paint. Go ahead and drag it into paint and resave it. Save as. We'll save it as a JPEG. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that, and then we'll drag the, uh, the knife copy in. It should work now. Okay, now I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to go to move. I'm going to use this blue arrow to, to rotate around to 90, and then we're going to go full screen. Go to select. Okay, so it looks like I have to rotate this just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and move. Probably right there is okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and create it this size. If somebody wants to blow it up, they're more than welcome to do so. We'll go ahead and drag a line in here. Um, some stuff's going to be revolved. Some stuff's going to be extruded. Uh, need to rotate it again. So go to move. OK, that's good enough. OK, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here. Click on the line in the middle. We're going to right mouse click. We're going to say set as mirror. Then we're going to control plus to zoom in. Uh, we're going to pan. We're going to pan up. Let's go control minus once. First thing we're going to draw is this blade. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll come in here. I'm going to drag down to about there because i got to use the rounded feature. Okay, now we're going to get our three-point arch. Click there. Go to there. We're going to round. Select. Click off. We'll grab the three-point arch again. We'll go from there to the end. And then we'll just bow it out a little bit. Okay. That's our blade. Now we're going to go control plus to zoom in, grab our pan tool, we'll pan down. We're going to go ahead and create this piece here. So we'll go ahead and get the line tool. Click select to click off. We're going to go ahead and get our three point arch. Click on the end point. We'll click down here somewhere. Give this a little radius. OK, now we're going to go put one of these prongs in here. So we'll go ahead and get the line tool for that. Go ahead and click out there. Zoom in, Control plus. Click off, click the select tool, and grab our three point arch. Go ahead and curve that a little bit. Select the click off. Grab our line tool again. I'm just going to come straight across with these. Go 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pan down. Control minus. I'm going to put in this half of this shape right here. So I'm going to turn off the, the uh, tool here. I don't need it anymore. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the mirror line. And we're going to go ahead and get our three point arch. I'm not going to put these spiky things up here. I'll just go ahead and uh, create the round. Right there looks good. I'll go ahead and uh, come on over with this. Now we're going to drag another line from midpoint straight up. Okay, now we'll get our trim away tool. I'm going to trim away this piece, this piece. Now we're going to put little circles in here so we can uh, um, simulate these little notches. So we're going to come up here and drag our first circle. Let's go 0.80. Oh, undo. Point oh eight four. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we want one, two, three, four. So what we're gonna do now is select that circle. We're gonna say move. We're gonna go create pattern, and then we're gonna move it down to here, and then we're gonna put in six copies. Or actually, I wanted that to be. Four, I think. Undo. Let's go. Just try four. One, two, one, two. One more. Let's put five in there. Okay. So go ahead and select to click off. Now we're going to come up here and control plus. We're going to move these over a little bit if they need to be moved over. So that one, we're going to click on the red and move it over a little bit actually in, in group I just want one okay it looks like since they're uh, they're all part of the thing they're gonna have to keep okay that's fine we can use it so control plus we're gonna pan down and then we're gonna use our trim away tool Oops, undo. I'm going to trim away this and then the middle piece. Middle piece. Okay, now I'll go control minus. Now we're going to go get our zoom tool. Zoom up into there. We're going to finish off the top part here. Click up. Over okay, get our select tool, grab the line tool, go from there straight up, get the select tool, grab our trim away tool, trim away that, that, that. Now we're going to get our three point arch. We're going to come from here. We're going to put a round on that. Click. Now we're going to get our line tool. Get the select. <clears throat> and we're going to pan over. Sorry about that. My phone is ringing. Now we're going to go uh, trim, trim away. All right, and then we're going to go. I believe we need that piece. Let's go control plus. All right, let's go control minus. 
All right, it looks pretty good. Control plus to zoom back in. You want to get rid of this line here. Grab another line. Go from midpoint straight up. Select the click off. Grab our trim away tool. Okay, now we're going to go. We're going to pan up. Okay, this is going to be the basis of our model. So we'll go ahead and move this over. Go select, click on it, move. We're going to grab the red arrow tool and move it over. Okay, so we've got to zoom in here. Control plus. I'm going to have to actually make these lines go up a little higher. So we'll go get rid of this. Select, click on that line, hit delete, delete. Now we'll grab the line tool again. These are going to have to go in like this. Okay, go ahead and trim away. All right, so control minus. First thing we want to do is pull. We're going to pull this. We're going to select our revolve. <clears throat> We're going to revolve around there. We're going to full pull. And that's going to be our handle. And then we want to um, rotate this a little bit. And then we want to pull. The actual knife pieces, the knife itself, control minus. I'm going to go ahead and pull them from both sides. I want to make this point zero point two two zero. Okay, let's zoom in. I'm going to make this piece. I'm going to pull that. I'm going to pull that from both sides. It's going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to be four. Okay, let's spin this around. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Now we're going to go ahead and pull these. Hold down control. We're going to come in here with a spin and we're going to pull from both sides. Point two. Okay. Now we're going to spin. Take a look. That blade is a little thick. Go ahead and move that blade in a little bit. We go back to undo. Be easier to do undo. Okay, we'll go ahead and spin. We're gonna pull, we're gonna pull from both sides. Just point one is all I want that to be. Go plus to zoom in. Get both components by holding down the control key, pull. Point one four. Oh, I'll actually undo that. That was supposed to be from both sides. Pull from both sides. We'll go 0 0.24, 0 0.24, go ahead and spin. Let's go on to, I want to make it a little bit, a little bit thicker. Pull, 
both sides. Oh, 0.30, that's better. Okay, now we're gonna click on those, hold down control. We're gonna pull, we're gonna pull from both sides. Let's make this the same thickness as the blade. Okay, now we're gonna go view from top. This is basically our knife here. We're gonna go ahead and We're gonna put a line. Actually, let's undo this. Control plus to zoom in. Get our line tool. All right, we're gonna put a line here, which is right about where the little notch would be. Grab our circle tool. Oh, 0.111, that's good. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that center line, we don't need it. Grab our line tool, we'll go from the that point to that point, midpoint to midpoint. Gonna grab our trim away tool. Trim away those. We're gonna spin. We're gonna go ahead and pull. And pull straight through. Now we start adding our details to this. So we're gonna go to top view and get rid of this line here. We don't need it. Select. For some reason I can't get rid of it. Okay. So basically, this is <clears throat> this is the knife. So we're going to go ahead and spin this. Control plus. Let's pan up. First detail we want to put on here is this blade. Remember, it's 0.1, so we need to uh, chamfer it 0.5. So we'll go ahead and grab these two. We'll do a chamfer 0.5. Hmm. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Manually do it. 0.05. Had the wrong measurement in there. Let's spin this. Same to the back. This one, hold down control. Let's go ahead and change that to chamfer. 0.05. Okay, let's go back to view, go to view from top. I'm not going to add a ton of details because that'll take this, make this video a long, a long video. I don't want it to be that long. Okay, so now we're going to go get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. We're going to zoom in with our magnifying glass. We're going to spin. We're going to start putting some details in this. We'll go ahead and click till everything is selected. I want to put a uh, chamfer in here. So we'll go ahead and click and drag in. We'll do uh, 0 0.02. Okay, now I'm going to spin this. Do the same on this one. Chamfer. 0.02. We'll give this a little spin around. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the chamfer also in here. We'll go change that to chamfer and then we're going to go. We want it to be. Well, 0.05. No, that didn't do it. Okay, let's let's try this again. Let's do one one pull at a time. Change the chamfer. It's 
not letting me for some reason. Okay, let's go go back to the top. So we got this in there. And then we're going to go ahead and get our uh, magnifying glass. I want to put some details up here, so we'll go ahead and spin this. We'll go pull. I'm going to put a radius here. All right, then I want to put radiuses here and here. Oh, point two. Let's pan up. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. Now I wanted to actually pull the bottom ones too, so we'll go ahead and hold down the control. Grab all these. Go ahead and pull. Spin up. Spin. Get the pan tools. Okay, let's go ahead and spin this. Still want to put a chamfer on these, so I'm going to go ahead and try that one more time. Let's click there, there, there. Change the chamfer. I think it should be. All right, I'm not going to worry about that. This is most of the most of the Klingon knife is done. So the only other thing I would probably do to this is we'll zoom in, we'll pan up, we'll spin around to get both sides. We'll go ahead and click till we get all sides. Hold down the control key, click till we get all sides. I'm going to add a chamfer there. We'll go to 0.2. That's good. Okay, then we're going to go to view top. Okay, this is going to end the tutorial. This is our uh, Star Trek Klingon knife. Um, you can come back in and add more details to it. I just added the basics. Uh, probably what I would add is a little switch there. I'd add a couple of screws. Um, I'd work out how to, how to chamfer this corner edge if we want it to be sharp. But if not, um, it works good this way too. So we'll go ahead and go isometric view. Let me get rid of that. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you found something useful out of this, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching.